Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit uh, scheduled events within the Mortware Funeral Record or the Mortware Case File if you prefer. Now to, uh, to do that, first we do have to open the record. Now uh, I should also mention that this only applies to Mortware clients that uh, do have the scheduler installed, but uh, if that is you, then please do click on the Events tab located next to the Services and Financial tabs and uh, for this video we're going to just focus on the top portion of this screen. Now in here you can see that I do have one event scheduled already that is uh, directly related to this particular case. Uh, it's an embalming and uh, if I wish to make changes to that all I have to do is uh, make sure that it's highlighted and click the edit button. So from here I can update things like description, add comments, change dates and times, I can also change the uh, employees that this has been scheduled to. And I can also change the resources that are available. Uh, yeah, I do highly recommend, though, if you're making significant changes to dates, times, and resources like this, though, or even adding a new scheduled event, that you use the scheduler interface. Now, I'm going to show you how to, uh, to use the scheduler in a separate video. But uh, for now, just for the purposes of covering this event screen, there is a direct link to open the Mortware Scheduler located on the bottom right. So we just click that to open it. Mine's on my other screen here, so I'm just going to drag it over. And then from here, um, you can, of course, add new events. I'll show you how to do that in the uh, Scheduler training video. But at least I can also see um, events for other funerals that are, may be carried out at the exact same time. So it's a good way of checking for conflicts. Now for now let's just close that and uh, let's just say that we are done with this event we've made any updates or changes that we need uh, if you do need to delete one you can also do that here too just click the delete button uh, you will be asked to confirm either yes or no let's just say no to keep that in the record here and when you're complete just click done or move on to one of the other tabs now for the second portion of this screen the task management we're going to cover that in a separate video as well so that's all for today, and thank you for your time.